good news guys, the first Bitcoin ETF could be coming soon as the court rules in favor of Grayscale over SEC. Join me as I dive in deep into this captivating victory that could change the look of all cryptos. Sit back and enjoy. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates from the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we extend a special welcome to you. We invite you to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's dive in. The US Court of Appeals for the DC Circuit has paved the way for Bitcoin exchange traded funds. On Tuesday, the court sided with Grayscale in a lawsuit against the Securities and Exchange Commission which had denied the company's application to convert the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust to an ETF. The decision could impact other companies that want to create Bitcoin ETFs, like BlackRock and Fidelity. What went down with Grayscale? The SEC last year denied Grayscale's application to convert its spot Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, PK, into an ETF, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as Aka Market. While the agency has rejected spot Bitcoin ETFs, it has approved Bitcoin Futures ETFs, which track agreements to buy or sell Bitcoin at a pre-agreed price. Grayscale and Aka proposed using the same market manipulation safeguards that were approved for those futures ETFs, but the SEC said that did not meet its bar. Grayscale was just one of several asset managers, including Kathy Wood's ARK, Fidelity and Invesco, IVZ, N, whose spot Bitcoin ETF applications the SEC rejected on investor protection grounds. Unlike those other firms, Grayscale sued the SEC. Because the defendant is a regulator, the case went straight to the appeals court. A spot Bitcoin ETF would be traded through a traditional stock exchange, although the Bitcoin would be held by a brokerage, and would allow investors to gain exposure to the world's biggest cryptocurrency without having to own the coin themselves. Many crypto bulls believe that approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF will lead to more mainstream institutional adoption. Bitcoin, Ether and other major cap crypto coins surged on the news, and Coinbase, which is listed as the custodian partner in multiple spot Bitcoin ETF applications, was up more than 14% on Tuesday. What is Grayscale's argument? Grayscale argued that the Bitcoin futures ETF surveillance arrangements should also be satisfactory for Grayscale's spot ETF, since both products rely on Bitcoin's underlying price. Bitcoin futures ETFs track Bitcoin futures that trade on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, CME, the chief venue for those products. The CME surveils futures market conditions and price movements on a real-time and ongoing basis in order to detect and prevent price distortions, including price distortions caused by manipulative efforts, the SEC has said. Grayscale's lead counsel Donald Verrilli Jr. told the court in March that a spot Bitcoin ETF would better protect investors because it would give them the benefit of CME oversight of the market. Currently, Americans mostly invest in Bitcoin via less well-established or unregulated exchanges. The SEC, however, says Grayscale lacks data to determine whether the CME futures surveillance agreement could also detect potential manipulation in the spot markets. What did the court say? The court's panel of judges said Grayscale showed that its proposed Bitcoin ETF is materially similar to the approved Bitcoin futures ETFs. That's because the underlying assets, Bitcoin and Bitcoin futures, are closely correlated. And because the surveillance sharing agreements with the CME are identical and should have the same likelihood of detecting fraudulent or manipulative conduct in the market for Bitcoin. With that in mind, the court ruled that the SEC was arbitrary and capricious to reject the filing because it never explained why grayscale owning bitcoins rather than bitcoin futures affects the CME's ability to detect fraud. The commission failed to adequately explain why it approved the listing of two bitcoin futures ETPs but not grayscale's proposed bitcoin ETP, the court said, referring to exchange traded products. In the absence of a coherent explanation, this unlike regulatory treatment of like products is unlawful. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell. To be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings in the crypto space.
Grayscale Investments, which manages the world's biggest crypto fund, initiated its lawsuit against the SEC in June 2022 after the agency rejected its application to turn its flagship Bitcoin fund, better known by its ticker GBTC, into an ETF. The company decided to pursue the ETF, which would be backed by Bitcoin rather than Bitcoin derivatives, after the SEC approved ProShares futures-based Bitcoin ETF in October 2021. The ruling faced multiple delays but the SEC ultimately rejected the application last summer, citing failure by Grayscale to answer questions related to concerns about possible market manipulation and investor protections. We are reviewing the court's decision to determine next steps, the SEC said in a statement. A spokeswoman for Grayscale called Tuesday's ruling, a monumental step forward for American investors, the Bitcoin ecosystem and all those who have been advocating for Bitcoin exposure through the added protections of the ETF wrapper. The Grayscale team and our legal advisors are actively reviewing the details outlined in the court's opinion and will be pursuing next steps with the SEC. We will share more information as soon as practicable, continued the written statement. GBTC, which has $16 billion in assets under management as of Tuesday, was the first crypto product investors could trade in their brokerage accounts to get exposure to Bitcoin. It was launched in 2013, well before the approval of Bitcoin ETFs in Canada or Bitcoin futures ETFs in the US Grayscale charges a 2% annual fee to investors, making it a cash cow for parent company Digital Currency Group, led by Barry Silbert. It virtually guarantees they will approve BlackRock and Fidelity, said Dave Weisberger, CEO of CoinRoots, a platform that provides algorithmic trading and consolidated market data products for digital assets across multiple exchanges and liquidity providers. Grayscale may need to refile, but they will almost certainly be approved as well. Firms have been applying for spot Bitcoin ETFs for more than two years, but so far, the SEC has denied more than 30 proposals since 2021, a 100% rejection rate. That investor sentiment was buoyed in June when BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager with some $9 trillion in assets under management, put in an application. The firm has had all but one of its previous 575 ETF applications accepted. What happens now? Both parties have 45 days to appeal the ruling, in which case it would either go to the US Supreme Court or an N-Bank panel review. It is unclear if the SEC will appeal. The regulator did not immediately respond to requests for comment on Tuesday. If Grayscale ultimately prevails and the SEC does not appeal, the court would specify how its decision should be executed. That could include instructing the SEC to approve the application, or to revisit Grayscale's application, in which case the SEC could still reject the proposal on other grounds. So, what does a Grayscale victory mean for other applications? Well, several firms have this year filed spot Bitcoin ETFs for listing on NASDAQ, NDAQ, O, or CBOE Global Markets. Including BlackRock, Block, N, the world's largest asset manager, Fidelity, WisdomTree, WT, N, Vanek, Bitwise and Invesco. Many have proposed working with Coinbase, Coin, O, the largest US-based crypto exchange, to police trading in the underlying Bitcoin market. The SEC has formally acknowledged those applications, and can take as long as 240 days to decide. It's unclear what Tuesday's ruling means for those applications, and it does not necessarily follow from the ruling that the SEC must approve a Bitcoin ETF. However, the ruling could factor into the SEC's decisions on those proposals. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Write us anything down here, we are very eager to read you. Always remember that you are an important part of our community. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content and don't forget to follow us on our new Instagram account at FacMakeMoney. See you in a future opportunity to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community. Thanks for watching.